are going to discuss the lesson on importance of inventory management and planning. Okay, so let us first discuss what is inventory. Inventory is the stockpile of product the firm is offering for sale, that is for merchandising business, and the stocks of raw materials for making a new finished product for manufacturing business. So in summary class, the types of inventory can be the products or units for sale for merchandising business. And for manufacturing business, the inventory can be for raw materials, the work in process, and the finished goods of manufacturing business. Then, class, let us discuss how does inventory management work? Inventory management is the tracking of inventory from manufacturers to warehouses and from these facilities to the point of sale, okay? So you will be able to track the, where the inventory is. That is how inventory management works, okay? So the goal of inventory management is to have the right products in the right place at the right time. This requires inventory visibility, knowing when to order, how much to order, and where to store stuff. You should have an overview of all the areas wherein the movement of its inventory is occurring, okay? Uh, by the way, we will discuss uh, inventory visibility in the later part of this lesson. So let us first discuss the basic steps of inventory management. First is purchasing. Purchasing is that ready to sell goods are purchased and delivered to the warehouse or directly to the point of sale. Then after, after purchasing, storing of inventory. Inventory is stored until needed. Goods or materials are transferred on the delivery area for shipment to point of sale or to other locations needing the inventory. And the last step is selling of inventory. The amount of product for sale is controlled. Finished goods are pulled to fulfill orders. Products are shipped to customers. So these are the basic, basic steps of inventory management the purchasing, the storing, and the selling of inventory. Now, class, let us discuss objectives of inventory management. Inventory can be a company's most important asset. Too little inventory when and where it's needed can create unhappy customers. But the large inventory has its own liabilities. The cost to store and insure it, and the risk of spoilage, theft, and damage are just some a few disadvantages of maintaining a large inventory. Companies with complex supply chains and manufacturing processes must find the right balance between having too much inventory on hand or not enough. So there should be a balance between um, excess inventory as against insufficient inventory. So insufficient inventory can affect production and marketing functions, thus results to revenue loss. If you do not have inventory to fulfill the uh, customer's order, then you it will create a revenue loss. On the other hand, Overstock of inventory may result to storage costs, damages, losses, and obsolescence of inventory, thus results to decrease in revenue. Why decrease in revenue? Because you are increasing your operating expenses, okay, from storage costs, damages, losses, and obsolescence of inventory. Okay, class, let us move on. Let us discuss now the types of inventory management. The first one is periodic inventory management. The periodic inventory system is a method of inventory valuation for financial reporting purposes in which 
a physical count of the inventory is performed at specific intervals. So under periodic inventory management, you are doing a physical count. Why you are doing a physical count of the inventory? Because in accounting, the physical counting of inventory is important in determining the cost of goods sold, okay? And second type is barcode inventory management. Businesses uses barcode inventory management systems to assign a number to each product they sell. This system can associate several data points to the number, including the supplier, product dimensions, weight, and even variable data such as how many are in stock. Okay, the next type is RFID inventory management. RFID or radio frequency identification is a system that wirelessly transmits the identity of a product in the form of a unique serial number to track items and provide detailed product information. The warehouse management system based on RFID can improve efficiency, increase inventory visibility, and ensure the rapid self-recording of receiving and delivery. So it is really important for us class to have uh, this RFID uh, inventory management because it can track the visibility of uh, the inventory. Okay, the key features of effective inventory management. First, inventory tracking. Inventory tracking is knowing exactly where inventory is across the supply chain. The next feature of inventory, of effective inventory management, is order management. This is handling customers' orders by preparing customized pricing, sending of codes, tracking of orders, and managing returns. Okay? The next uh, feature of effective inventory management is transfer management. This is moving of products to where it is most valuable and needed. And the next feature of effective inventory management is reporting and analytics. This is evaluating patterns and trends to forecast future demand and sales. And next is purchasing. This is dealing with suppliers by creating better terms and managing purchase orders. And lastly, shipping capabilities. Ensuring accuracy in shipping to reduce errors such as late deliveries or delivering incorrect packages. Okay class, so these are the features of effective inventory management. Now, this is what inventory visibility means. I would like to emphasize inventory visibility. Okay, inventory visibility is knowing what inventory you have and where it is located. Businesses need an accurate view of inventory to guarantee fulfillment of customer orders, reduce shipment turnaround times, and minimize stock outs, oversells, and markdowns. So it's really important for us to have inventory visibility across all channels of our operations. Okay, class, let us discuss inventory planning. Every organization that is engaged in production, sale, or trading of products holds inventory in one or the other form. Manufacturing business holds raw material inventories and finished goods inventories. Merchandising companies hold goods inventories depending upon the business model. Okay, class. Inventory management function is essentially dealing with two major functions. First function deals with inventory planning and the second being inventory tracking. So class, here in inventory planning, it means analyzing demand and deciding when to order and how much to order new inventories. 
Okay, class, we are going to study in succeeding lessons the traditional inventory management approach. So here we have here the EOQ. We will study this EOQ in succeeding lessons. EOQ in inventory management, economic order quantity is the order quantity that minimizes the total holding cost and ordering cost. So this is the quantity that uh, minimizes holding cost and ordering cost. It is one of the oldest classical production scheduling models. The next inventory management approach is continuous order model. It works on fixed order quantity basis where a trigger for fixed quantity replenishment is released whenever the inventory level reaches the predetermined safety level. So class, here we are going to take a look at the order point because we are going to establish the fixed order quantity. Okay, so it means that if the fixed uh, quantity replenishment, the level that you need to order already, it means that if you need, or I mean, if the level of stocks in the warehouse is already at a certain quantity, like for example, 800 units, then that will already trigger uh, for you to make an order on a continuously basis, okay? And the last is the periodic system model. This model works on the basis of placing order after a fixed period of time. For example, you have, you are based on your experiences, you were able to identify that every uh, 15th of the month, I will make an order. So in that case, every 15th of the month, you are ordering uh, from your supplier. Okay, class? So in succeeding lessons, we will discuss EOQ and reorder point. Okay? Bye for now and have a safe day. Okay, so if you have questions, please let me know. Stay safe, class.